guys, I'm um, Graham McDowell, and you're watching Graham McDowell Week on Golf.com. Um, just hanging here at North Shore Golf Club, and uh, I've spied a young man hitting a few putts in the putting green here. I think um, he looks like he's got a pretty nice stroke, but I think I can oh. give him a couple of tips to make him a little bit more consistent and have him making some more putts. So uh, let's go ambush him. Excuse me, sir. Sorry hey. to interrupt you. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Graham McDowell. Jim Elliott, nice to Jim, meet you, sir. very nice to meet you. Just over there watching you hit a few putts. I hope you didn't mind me just coming over here and see if I can't make this. You've got a really nice stroke. I think we can just maybe give you a couple of small pointers just to make that just a little sharper, appreciate if you don't mind. It. I appreciate it. Cool. Well, I was I was just kind of watching you, watching you roll a few. And I, I generally like the way you go about things and, and the way you roll it, but just just two comments really I had was, was one, when you're making your your practice stroke, I'd like you to spend a little bit more time with your eyes on the target. Yes, sir. Um, the target's going to tell our body what we want it to do, what, what, what we want to do, and what we're trying to achieve. It's kind of like when you're tossing a piece of paper into a into a trash can. You wouldn't be focusing on your elbow or your hand or the piece of paper. You just go trash can, boom, and react to the target. So putting's kind of the same way. I like to spend a lot of time out at the target, letting the target tell me how I want to position my body to hit the shot, and how hard I want to roll this putt. So I'm spending all my time out there and very little time in here at the ball. So I'm not thinking about technique or strike or anything like that. It's all about target. Also, you've, pretty, you've got a pretty long putter there. Let me see, it's, a, it's obviously a lot longer than mine. It's kind of one of these counterbalance yeah, deals, yes, which, is, which is cool. Uh, I just kind of feel you've got a lot of flex in your forearms. I'd like to just take a little of that flex out I don't want them rigid straight. I just kind of want them straight with a little, just take the, take the pressure off them with a little bend. I kind of feel you're, you're a little bit out here, which makes the stroke a bit armsy. If you can just lengthen them out a little bit, I feel like you'll be able to pop with a little bit more of a rock of the shoulders rather than armsy and handsy, if you know what I'm saying. Yes, so sir, I think that's coming from, I used to putt with a belly putter and yeah. now I'm trying to switch to a absolutely, different type of putter. Absolutely, so I, you know, like I say, I don't like the arms rigid straight. I like him just with a, just just break the tension with a little bit of a band. Focus on the target with a practice stroke, and then get in there and just try and react to what you've just seen. And hope hope you read it better than it, I did. It goes left. It goes left. Okay, <laughs> hit one there for uh, me, Jim. Question: When you say you're looking at the target, are you looking at the line you picked or the hole? Yeah, if it's a breaking putt, I'll be focusing on perhaps the apex of my putt and where I think where I see it entering the hole as well. So I'm, I'm tracing a line of the putt, I'm getting feedback from what I'm trying to achieve. Yeah, I just started using this line. I didn't use it for years. I just Yeah, I, I like the line on straight straighter putts. I don't love it so much when, when it's a breaking putt, you know, so because it's very hard to get that line, um, you know, very, very the, the tendency is mainly, mainly to underread a breaking putt, but on this type of putt, I love it. So, so just give me that practice stroke. Yeah, just kind of, now I just concentrate on speed. I don't have to worry about line Absolutely. so much. Absolutely, so just focus a little bit on that target as you make that, give me another practice stroke, that's it. So get the feedback from the target, and then get in there and just react to what you've just seen. Like I say, you have a nice stroke, just trust it. Better putt than me. You're a good man. I like your stroke. Thank Looks you, great. Just, just it. work on those couple of things. And we have a putter. This is the new Cleveland Smart Square. Awesome. Give it a whirl. It's not quite as long as yours, but I'm sure uh, it is available in the, in the uh, counterbalance setup as well. So enjoy that. And uh, thank you for tuning in, guys. Just another tip. Greg McDowell, week at golf.com. Stay tuned for a few more.